Matthew Bible Summary to Joshua 6 The walls of Jericho fall, and it is taken. The sixth chapter And Jericho shut in her people, and was shut for fear of the children of Israel, so that no man went out or in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Behold, I have given into thine hand Jericho and her king and the men of war. And ye shall compass the city, all that be men of war, and go round about it once, and so shall you do six days. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with their trumpets. And when, and when there is a long blast, blown with the ram's horn, as soon as ye hear the sound of the horn, let all the people shout a mighty shout, and then shall the walls of the city fall down, and the people shall ascend up, every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called unto the priests, and said unto them, Take up the ark of the appointment, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Go and compass the city, and let the men of arms go before the ark of the Lord. And when Joshua had spoken unto the people, the seven priests that bear the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went forth and blew with the horns, and the ark of the testament of the Lord followed after them. And the men of arms went before the priests that blew with the horns, and the common people came after the ark, and as they went, they blew with the horns. And Joshua commanded the people, saying, Shout not, nor let your voice be heard, or any word proceed out of your mouths until the day I do shout, and then shout. And so the ark of the Lord compassed the city, and went about it once. And then they returned into the host, and lodged there. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And as they went, blew with the horns, and the men of arms went before them, and the common people came after the ark of the Lord. And as they went, they blew with the horns. And the second day they compassed the city once, and returned again into the host, and so they did six days long. And the seventh day they rose early, even with the dawning of the day, and compassed the city after the same manner seven times, only that they compassed the city seven times. And at the seventh time, the priests blew with the horns, and Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. But the city shall be excommunicated, both it and all that is therein, unto the Lord. Only Raab the harlot shall live, both she and and all that is with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And in any wise beware of the excommunicated things, lest ye make yourselves excommunicated. 
For if you take of the excommunicated things, so shall you make the host of Israel excommunicated, and shall trouble it. But of the silver, gold, vessels of brass, and iron shall be holy unto the Lord, and shall go in to his treasury. And the people cried, and blew with horns. For when the people heard the sound of the horns, they shouted a great shout, and the walls fell down, and the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, ox, sheep, and ass, with the edge of the sword. Then Joshua said unto the two men that went to spy out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence both the woman and all that pertaineth to her, as ye swear to her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Raab, and her father and mother, and all her brethren, and all that she had. And they brought out all her household, and put them without the host of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire, and all that was therein, only the silver, the gold, and the things of brass and iron they put unto the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Raab the harlot, and her father's household, and all that pertained unto her. And she dwelt in Israel, even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And Joshua cursed at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord, that riseth up and buildeth this city Jericho, so that he lay the foundation with the death of his eldest son, and with the death of his youngest set up the gates. And the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was heard throughout all lands.